Hey, what's going on guys? Logan from ID Reptiles here, bringing you guys the list for the snakes up for auction tonight on August 7th. And fun fact, we actually also have a clutch cutting right after the auction, so make sure to stay tuned for that. But we do have five snakes for you guys and one leopard gecko. Leopard gecko does have a reserve as well as, I believe, two of our snakes do. Um, I'm saying two just to be sure I know one does for certain. Um, but without further ado, let's get to the first snake. The first one is a female. It's at, coming in at 350 grams. And this right here is a sulfur. She is very pretty. You do have to be a little bit slow when you go to pick her up. Just don't go too quick. Um, but once you get her up, she is just fine. This is a little sulfur. Sulfur is in the complex with fire and vanilla. If you were to get a sulfur fire, that is a um, black eyed leucistic. Um, so just white body with black eyes, really cool. And then second, I actually have to go down here. Um, this one was previously sold, was previously sold, just came out of shed last night. Still has one little piece here, let's get that off. And this is a female albino from our first clutch this season. Little female here, eating great on either mice or rats, but very, very pretty. All right, so that takes us to our number three, and this one's gonna hurt me, and you guys all know it will if you have been watching, because it is another one of our babies, and it is one I love very, very much. It's Ducky. He is a pastel um, leopard, and the third gene is either fire or vanilla. It's just that fire and vanilla look nearly identical when it comes to combos, so it's hard to identify whether if it's vanilla in him or fire. But they are in the same complex, and if he ends up being fire and you pair him to another fire, you can get some super fires, um, which once again are black-eyed leucistics or if you pair him up with the fire and he turns out to be vanilla, you can get screams. But very pretty little guy. And one thing we talk about is with his dad being Dr. Smooth, AKA Diego, he is carrying what we like to call the Diego gene, which is that super, super friendly miss that he's got going on. Cause we always um, say that his dad is half dog and Diego's one and the same, just very pretty little guy. But don't let this kindness fool you. If you are a mouse or a rat, he's not your friend. Um, he is a great, great eater and also just came out of shed, but very, very pretty little guy. So now going on to number four. This is, oh, Diego is, or ugh, Ducky is um, one of the ones with the reserve on him. This one also is, I think. Let me pull them out right here. This one still does need to take a couple meals, um, but it is a great start to a huge project if any of you guys are looking to get into it. Right here you are looking at a yellow belly slash gravel that is 50% het for pied. Um, the pairing on this guy was the blackhead gravel paired to the yellow belly het pied. We did not get any pieds out of the pairing, so we don't know if um, if that is just bad luck or if the dad is not carrying the het pie gene, but the mom should be, but it is unproven since we did not get the pie in there. But there is your belly shot if you are trying to decipher if he's yellow belly or gravel just from looking at him, but very pretty boy nonetheless. Let's go ahead and get him packed away. And then that brings us to our final one for tonight. And let me see. Which one do you think I should choose? There's one here and there's one here. The one in here? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what we have here, a very pretty female, 100% het for clown. Let's go ahead and look at how much just that clown kind of plays with the pattern, adds some blushing and changes some of how the actual pattern works. 
This is a normal 100% head for clown girl, but with the right male, you know, they can do wonders. We do also have male het clowns available, so if you end up getting this girl, then, uh, and you wanna get a male, we do have some available. So, very pretty little one right here, and that is going to be it for our ball pythons. Now, yep, we have our final one, and it is a leopard gecko. Uh, this is one of our breeders that Unfortunately, as soon as we got him, we got another male that whose genes kind of trumped his. So, this male just um, didn't get any action this season. But regardless, he is super friendly. And just look at this lavender color that's breaking through here. He is a Max No Trumper Albino. So, that is Max No, the Kodom and Trevor Albino, which is a recessive, and he is visual for it. And he is just gorgeous, and he is a great eater, and he is just an absolute blast to handle. He's just a sweet little guy. This is actually Nicole's mom's favorite, unfortunately, so, sorry. Um, but he is going to be in the auction today. He does have a reserve on him, so um, if it doesn't reach the reserve, we're going to message whoever was the high bidder and ask if they're willing to purchase him for the reserve price. But the reserve set so low for this guy, um, for what he is, I don't think that's going to be an issue. This guy is just very, very pretty. Just look at how he just likes to hang out. And yeah, just very pretty little guy. All right. So that is going to be it for this auctions list. We hope to see you guys live on the Intelligent Design Intelligent Design Reptiles YouTube channel. I <laughs> love my words a little bit there. Live tonight at 5.30 Pacific Standard Time. Um, but yeah, other than that guys, we hope to see you guys there. See ya.